Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have given you the brief idea of box plot and I have also shown you how we can detect outliers using box plot, right? Now in my this video, I am going to discuss another very important data distribution idea which we can get using box plot and that is skewness, okay, or data distribution we can say that skewness idea also we can get from box plot visualization okay so let us try to understand how before going to that discussion let me just give you the recall of some major important points related to box plot okay so this is simple box plot which might look complicated graph but let me make it very simple this is the minimum value this is first quartile this is second quartile which is also called median this is third quartile and this is maximum value. If you have already gone through my previous video, I hope you can easily understand this statement what I am going to tell now. Minimum value is that value below which no data is present for my that particular column of, our, of my data set, right? First quartile is that value below which 25% of my data is present second quartile or, or median is that particular value below which 50 percent of my data is present and third quartile is basically that value below which 75 percent of my data is present and maximum value is that particular value below which 100 percent of my data is present right this is the simple interpretation of box plot right quartiles first quartile second quartile third quartile minimum and maximum value right now let us go to the box plot for skewed data. So suppose consider positive skewed data. What is positive skewness? Positive skewness means in simple words we can say such data for which at lower values of my data more frequency is present and at high values less frequency is present. So the data distribution will look like this which we, from which you can clearly understand as we keep on increasing my value of my original data the frequency is decreasing. This is positive skewed data or right skewed data we can say because there is skewness or tail present in right hand side or positive direction. Okay. Now let us try to intuitively plot the box plot for this. So here this side it is increasing my data is data value is increasing right. And so what we can do, we can let us try to plot the box plot horizontally because we can interpret easily. So minimum we will be getting here, maximum we will be getting here, right? Now we will start going from minimum and after going little bit, my Q1 will arrive, okay? We will not need to go much in this particular right hand side, okay? or we no need to increase the value much to get q1 why because you can clearly understand from the positive skewness that at lower values more frequency element is present so the value below which 25 percent of my data is present will arrive very quickly that, that it will not have much gap with respect to mean then what will happen then after going little bit, median will also appear, okay, which is also called Q2. Again, same explanation. We no need to increase the value of my data much. Increase value means if we move if, if we move to the positive direction, that means we are increasing value, right? Why? Again, same explanation because we can clearly understand this is positive skewed data. So at lower values, more frequency is present. So as a result, Q2 will be nearer to Q1 only. That is 50% data will be covered at lower values only. Then to achieve the 75% coverage, we need to go obviously much, right? That is Q3 will be at distance. You can understand clearly. Now, why? Because here we are covering basically 75% of my data. And see, as we are moving to high values, what is happening eventually, that frequency is decreasing. So to cover 75%, we need to go much, right? And then there will be huge gap, okay? Because it is 
the frequency is gradually decreasing sharply as we increasing values right so this particular coverage 100 percent coverage will appear after moving much in the right hand side so this should be intuitively the box plot for the positive skewed data right and this is what is the box plot i hope the reason you have understood very simple interpretation from minimum if we go little bit okay we will be getting 25 percent then from that if we go little bit we will be get going getting 50 percent that means the 50 percent coverage of my data will happen in a very small value of my x okay or x is basically my data right because uh, most of the data frequencies are concentrated at lower values now to cover 75 percent we need to go more and to cover 100 percent obviously we need to go far more because gradually it is decreasing right so what is the feature of this box plot can you tell me from simple visualization yes that is median is closer to q1 and the mean side whisker is not very much lengthy but this side is very much lengthy if we are getting this kind of box plot then we can simply conclude that the data is positively skewed data okay so the conclusion is when the median is closer to the bottom of the box which is basically q1 and if the whisker is shorter on the lower end right whisker see whisker is shorter on the lower end because at lower values there is more concentration of my data 25 percent we can easily get in lower range right so that's why this particular length will not big will not be big for positively skewed data or right skewed data right so when the median is closer to bottom of the box and if the whisker is shorter on the lower end of the box then the distribution is positively skewed or skewed in the right side now from this discussion you can easily say uh, say what about the negatively skewed data negatively skewed data means if we increase the value of x okay that is if we go more in the positive side then more frequency elements will be getting right so the obviously box plot will look like this see clear inter interpretation this is my minimum value this is my maximum value simply we can understand we can draw a line like this min max okay obviously it will be having same min max now to cover 25 percent of my data we need to cover travel a huge distance because here the frequency or total number of data is very less in this small range right so we need to go a good amount of distance then again we need to go a good amount of distance to cover total 50 percent of data right because in this side in the left hand side the frequency or number of data concentration is less now from the 50 to 75 percent if we want to cover we will achieve that quickly because now we are moving to the higher values and at higher values more frequency concentration is present so the 75 percent data we will achieve quickly that is we no need to go much from median to q3 okay then from q3 to maximum again distance is very small okay that is 75 percent to 100 percent data is accumulated in the small range you can clearly understand right because here huge concentration of frequency is present right so for negatively skewed data we can intuitively understand that the box plot will look like this again we can conclude when the median is closer to top of the box that is median is closer to q3 okay or 75 percentile we can say and if the whisker is shorter to the upper end of the box then the data is negatively skewed data or skewed in the left hand side now simply symmetric data we can clearly understand symmetric data means symmetric box plot okay nothing uh, one side uh, more influence will be present symmetry right we can clearly understand no need to explain self-explanatory now i am going to tell you one simple technique so that you can remember that once you see the box plot you can quickly tell 
how the data distribution will be okay this is just one easy trick to remember okay actual logic you know now you can use this to simply or quickly decide the distribution suppose you are getting one box plot of one particular column of your data set like this okay what you can do you can plot one line like this i am just plotting you no need to plot manually you can visualize the whole thing once i will complete my discussion okay so here this is my median on which we have drawn a line now suppose this is the top of the hill and you need to go to the bottom of the hill okay and bottom parts are basically my this one and this one that is extremes are my bottom now see if you go in the left hand side you need to go very quickly now in this side bottom right hand side bottom if you want to go you can go like this that is the slope will be very much steeper in the left hand side and the right hand side the slope will not be very much steeper and this is what kind of data positive skewness light skewed data so if we are getting this kind of box plot that means my data is going to be positively skewed right simple to remember now can you tell me for this same idea you just apply you just consider the hill peak or mountain peak at the median this is the median right middle of my box whatever line is present that is median now two extremes minimum and maximum are basically the bottom of my hill plain area now if i want to go to the bottom part in the left hand side i can go slowly but in the right hand side i can i have to go very fast that is slope will be very much steeper what kind of data is this negatively skewed data because scale is present in the negative direction or left skewed data so from this box plot this will be my negative skewed data this kind of box plot will be positive skewed data right this is easy trick to remember so once from the next time you observe the box plot quickly just conclude about the data distribution and all these data visualization getting idea about skewness how to interpret box plot all these things will surely help you to create a good machine learning model a good uh, data science project okay which can be used in real time right so i hope you have understood this this is all for my this video thank you for watching